okay looks like it's more career mode gameplay uh and let's just jump right into it this is at imola italy so <laughs> the uh the story here is that this is literally the first time i've done anything on this track i mean literally i came into the practice for this career race uh at imola and it was the first time that i'd ever driven on the track I've watched it on TV. I hadn't even watched other people's gameplay of it, so I'd never even seen it from this from this viewpoint. So, um, I, and I'm not that familiar with the track just from seeing it on TV. So, uh, it was kind of brutal, actually. Um, it started off not really that well. My practice did not really go that well. I had a lot of lap times deleted. I uh, had a lot of issues. Uh, and you and you see that kind of continue okay throughout qualifying and the race so what you're seeing right now is my first qualifying lap um in it's, i'm only doing one short qualifying session but you if you've if you're watching this lap it's not a good lap like i'm not doing well um i'm very i'm still very uncomfortable on the track and um it's not really a great lap but what I tend to do with these is show my best lap and uh, this unfortunately actually ends up being my best lap okay so I'm going to show you a little a hodgepodge here of of problems so uh, that was clearly a ruined lap I wasn't going to do anything with it at that point so uh, return to garage go back out you see me have another go here I just take the wrong angle get an invalidated lap time so yet another one is ruined oh and by the way I'm on 95 AI now uh, if you watch the last video you know I was talking about going to 95 AI I also misplayed that one invalid invalidated lap time and there was no time to do another lap so um, I end up with the lap time that puts me at approximately P14 a full almost one and a half seconds behind my teammate uh, that's partly, I think, because I'm on 95 AI, uh, as I mentioned. And I was talking about doing that in the last video. And I was saying, I think it, I don't know how that's going to work out because Bahrain was on 90 AI. I won the race, got fastest lap, which probably shouldn't be happening with me in a McLaren. But how much of that is the fact that I'm just really used to racing at Bahrain? You know what I mean? So, um, I don't, I'm not going to say that like if I'd been on 90 AI, I would have run this race because I don't think that's true. Um, I'm just not, I'm not familiar with this track and I was not ready to race on it. And honestly, what I should have done more is practice some more instead of just jumping straight into the race. But it is what it is. And I'm, I decided I was just going to do it and make the best of it. And I think with this being on 95 and you can watch the race and see how it ends up, but... I'm not exactly happy with with my abilities against these guys, so I will I will bump it down a little bit. And actually, there is another race. The one after this one was on 93. I'm not going to post that one just because it was honestly a boring race. It was at Portugal, and um, it was really like I I think I I qualified and finished at the same spot maybe one away and it wasn't really it wasn't an interesting race like I think there was maybe one overtake the whole race by me so uh, and I got passed once maybe in the pits or something so it wasn't interesting I'm probably not going to post it well I know I'm not going to post it I've already deleted the footage it's literally impossible for me to post that video so it won't be happening but moving forward I think I'll probably bump down to 91 AI for the next race and see how that goes uh, you see me have a go right here at George Russell, and I almost went off track on the right side, so maybe it wasn't that smart, but it ended up working out okay. I almost had another go at him there with the kind of dive bomb move. I, I just, I feel like I'm faster than these cars, and it's, it's, I find it difficult for me to follow and just convince myself to back off and not you know, not uh, aggressively go for, for positioning, so I'm constantly learning. Uh, hopefully, it'll get better. Uh, but this track is interesting. It's it, it's got a nice flow, I think, once you get used to it. But um, I still wouldn't say that I'm used to it, actually. So uh, I'm sure it'll only get better as I race this track more. Um, but for the meantime, I'm happy to be going back to tracks that I know a little better. Portugal, like I said, the third race, I'm a little more comfortable there. I think Spain is next. Um, and so I'm, I like Spain. I'm excited to go to Spain and see how that goes. Um, in the meantime, I don't think that I've had any track limit p 
penalties yet which is not consistent with what happened in practice and qualifying um, so I knew going into the race that track limits would be an issue because you really have to you really have to drive on the edge of the limits track limits wise I think here to to be successful uh, especially when the AI is on 95 and I felt myself sort of struggling or, or pressing to to be able to compete with these guys you know even in the back of the pack here the McLaren's a lot better car than the Williams uh, than the Alpha than the the Mazepin Mobile certainly uh, so I shouldn't be it shouldn't be a struggle for me to keep up with these guys and that's partly an AI problem partly because I don't know the track but um uh, you see, okay, there I got a track limits penalty. And especially, I think, right there, it's so easy to get a track limits penalty at that spot. It's just the way the track works. Um, and and on that little part, too. And that, I think my setup was a little off. I think, in retrospect, I wish that I'd run a little more downforce to hopefully get a little, get a little more into the turns because that ended up being a pretty significant problem for me. Um, just... I, and you know, I think that partially contributed to to my track limit penalties. You see me having to go at Russell here. I feel like I can get it. I feel like I've got it. Uh, and you see me take the space, probably close the door on him a little bit. But hey, I didn't get penalty for it, so it must have been fine. And I, I do I do sort of bully the AI a little bit. That's uh, I'm not going to apologize for it. I would apologize if I was racing real people, but against the AI, I don't feel that bad. So fast forward to the end of this lap. I'm P15. I'm catching up to Kimmy. I feel like I've got a good shot at him here. I've got about 50% battery. Uh, I know I'm getting DRS here, and he has it, but also I've got a better car than he does. So I get a pretty good run into Kimmy. I get the overtake opportunity pretty early, so you see me go past him there on the outside. Again, kind of closed the door on him. Tried to give him a little bit of room, hopefully not too much room, but I did get past him. That seems like the best place on the track to pass, no question. Uh, with these guys staying on the line like they do um, so uh, that's you see me take advantage of that quite a few times uh, fast forward again here I am p14 trying to catch up with Giovinazzi same situation although I have a lot less battery now I do have DRS so I feel like I'll, I'll be able to get a good run at him I know the pit window is coming up so I'm hoping to maximize my positioning uh, to take advantage of that you see me go inside, actually, right there on Giovinazzi. Bump him a little bit, I think, but managed to stay alive and stay clean. Didn't get any damage, so that worked out okay. Fast forward again. Um, you see me getting a little issue with my engine, and then it says default has resolved itself, so I guess it was fine. Uh, I guess it wasn't really much of a problem, but I am P13 here, and... Um, I do feel like I have a decent opportunity here. I'm I'm pretty much P13 by merit, not really by by pit problems. So I'm I'm hoping that I can that I can do all right here. Uh, you see quite a few people starting to pit here on lap seven. You see me get passed also there by uh, by Giovinazzi, and then uh, Kimi Raikkonen passes me as well. It was disappointing, but I didn't really have any battery. They both had DRS, and I didn't. And then I just get a nasty little angle in there. Um, I, I probably should have tried to slot into traffic a little more and just, just roll with it. But uh, unfortunately, I did get past. Uh, you, you have, like I said, a couple people pitting. So uh, after everyone pits, and I think, it, I think I'm pitting next lap. So we're in a position here that is uh, going to quickly go away, but I am P5. Uh, I do have Kimmy right in front of me. And I, I was much faster than Kimmy, so I, I certainly thought I could have passed there maybe, but didn't get the opportunity really. You see me go into the pits at P5. Quick little stop here, come out 2.8 seconds, and we are racing on exit. I'm on medium. A lot of the guys around me are on hards. Much the same as the conversation around, around Hamilton last race. I, I was hoping to take advantage of that a little bit. You see me get my third track limit penalty. So I've got a three-second penalty here, which is... Very unfortunate uh, because, you know, these guys are probably going to be within three seconds of me um, as we get to the end of this race. So 
it, it was really unfortunate for me that it happened like that. Uh, I, I came out behind Russell, so you see me get an opportunity here. So I passed Russell on the right, passed Kimmy as well, because Kimmy was just not even moving. I shut the door on both of them. Uh, sorry, Kimmy. I uh, might have spun him out. Again, blowing the AI a little bit. I'm not proud of it, but hey, it happened. Uh, I'm P14 here. You see me, you see me for Stappen coming up behind me on the softs. I am worried about that. I'm trying to stay in front of George Russell on a net basis just because um, he is about 4.7 seconds back right now. I've got the three-second penalty, so I'm hoping I can stay ahead of him. Uh, I'm going to do my best to do it. You see me here. Got another run at Joe Venazzi. I think this is the only place that I passed on the track. This is the only part of the track that I passed on or was passed on also as an extension of that. So I don't know that this is really a fun track to race against AI, honestly. It's just not too many overtaking opportunities. I uh, just, you know, I think it could be better. So you see me going here into the very last lap. I am P13 after passing Joe Venazzi. Uh, Verstappen is right on my tail. Unfortunately, even if he does not catch me, he will get me on time penalty. And he does not catch me, so I stayed ahead of him on track. But with the time penalty, I go behind Verstappen and Giovinazzi. I am P15. I don't love it, but we're going to turn AI down and we're going to see what happens next. Uh, see if I can not get track limit penalties and maybe hopefully compete for some more wins and some more points. Um, and I do get P9 in the next race, which you're not going to see, but I did. So... <laughs> 